Assalamu alaikum, dear students. I am Dr. Muhammad Majharul Islam, Associate Professor of Community Medicine, Boshundhra Addin Medical College. Today, my discussion topic is data presentation. Our last class was about data collection. Today, we are going to discuss about how to present data. First of all, let us see why we need to know this. In order to make the data easily understandable, the first task of the presenter is to condense the data and simplify them. We have at least three major methods by which we can present data. These are array, tabulations and graphs or drawings. First of all, let us see what is array. Array means arranging arranging in order. One is ascending order and another is descending order. Ascending order is from lowest to highest like 1, 2, 3, 4 and descending order is from highest to lowest like 4, 3, 2, 1 like this. Tabulation. There are three types of tables univariate tables, bivariate tables and multivariate tables. Univariate tables are the table in which we present one variable at a time. On the other hand, bivariate tables are the tables in which we present two variables at a time and multivariate tables are the tables in which we present at least three variables at a time. Let us see an example. Here is a raw data containing ID numbers, ages, sex. Uh, these are the uh, data of 37 persons, age and sex. Two data are uh, visible here and this is uh, absolutely raw data. And in order to make a table or frequency distribution table, First of all, we have to uh, calculate the numbers or frequency. For this, we sometimes use tally marks and then we count the tally and make frequency or number of occurrences. Next, we have to create a table and uh, place the frequency or numbers in that table. And in another column, we need to place percentages of each frequency. This is another example of univariate table. Here, only sex is the variable we are presenting. See here, male is 22 in number, that is 49.4% female is 15 in number and it is 40.6 percent and total number of people is here 37 and total percentage is 100 percent. In this table only one variable is presented, so it is univariate table. And this is a, an example of bivariate table, here sex, male and female two different columns are used. So, it is bivariate tables from the uh, raw data we have seen previously. And here is a multivariate table. It shows multiple variables. Four variables are visible here. One is service type, another is name of the course, another is marital status in which married and single two columns are available. So, this is a multivariate table. Now, let us discuss about the parts of a table. For presenting a good data, we need to create a table which contains at least eight parts. These are table number, title of the table caption or column heading, stub or raw heading, body, head note, footnote, 
and reference or source note. Now, let us discuss about drawings or charts or graphs. For qualitative or discrete or categorical data presentation, we have four types of drawings. These are bar diagram, pie diagram, pictogram and map diagram. In case of bar diagram, there are simple bar, multiple bar and component bar or proportional bar diagrams. Let us discuss in details about bar diagram. Bar diagram is a graphical presentation of discrete data. Different categories of or classifications are represented on one axis and the frequency count or percentage count is represented on another axis. Here is an example, we can see there are five columns or bars visible here. This is a simple bar diagram, each bar is uh, colored with different colors or patterns and these bars, bars are not uh, touching each other and different heights are visible here. Heights are uh, representing the intensity or frequency of the each component. This is another simple bar diagram. One is for male 22 male and female is 15. So, uh, bars or columns are different in height. This is an example of multiple bar diagram. Here pair and pairs are visible. First pair contains uh, male and female of 0 to 9 years old persons. Here male is 4 and female is 3. On the next component there is another pair male 6, female 4. Next component male 7, female 3 like this. So, this is a multiple bar diagram here one component is divided into two parts. So, these two parts are touching each other and a pair column is visible. This is multiple bar diagram and this one is component bar diagram or proportional bar diagram. Here one column is divided into two parts that is for male four persons are there and three female persons are there in the first component that is 0 to 9 years old persons. So, female component is on the top of the male component. So, one bar represents two components. So, this type of bar diagram is known as proportional bar diagram or component bar diagram. Let us discuss about pi diagram now. Pi diagram is a circular diagram divided into segments each of which represents the frequency or percentage of a category. The total of these slices of the pi must add up to 100 percent that is 360 degree is equal to 100 percent. This is an example here we see the pi or circle is divided into different segments or sections each sections are is representing different components and each of them are patterned with different types or different colors and the angles in the center of each component represent the intensity or frequency of that component. This is a pictogram or picture diagram. This type of diagram is made to understand uh, the information at a glance. Here we see January four persons, one persons, one person represents 500 visitors. So, in a hospital January there are four persons or four pictures are visible. So, 2000 persons visited the hospital 
in the month of January. So, this type of uh, graph is known as pictograph. Here is another example of pictograph of US population census one decade and this is a map diagram. It shows a map of Bangladesh containing different colors in different parts. The color intensity must be uh, created with the frequency intensity. So, darker the area more frequency is there. This is a, a rule to make a map diagram and that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.